I guess. Give me a minute. Uh, I'm on the wrong one here. So, let me just chase him in. Uh, probably use. There we go. So, hey guys, how you doing? We're back to another stream. No, um, I Where is the game? We're gonna do World War Two. Just a little update. We're gonna do a World War Two, uh, like operation, but the mods broke. So we're back on uh, a rotation of one day. So yeah, should be quite fun. I think we're doing section training between training tonight. Ryan's back after about two months. Um, Ryan's finally back. So. So yeah, give me a sec, guys. Can you see it? That's in your... Oh, I can't get in line. I can't get in. You changed your colour. you too fast. I breathed it. Yeah, so what do I tell? <laughs> Check it out. I don't know. 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 I uh, <laughs> uh, we did, I did speak with him, he doesn't have the money in this month. Yeah, yeah. Mud up's not going to last long either. Two jumpies. No. There you go, so I'm yeah. back. Alright, so. order of match, I'm Matt. You made a mistake, Ryan. <laughs> I shouldn't be there. So yeah, they said we're back. Uh, we're back doing a, a modern day home rotation um, after the World War Two mods decided that they didn't want to work for us. So we're back doing home rotation for three nights, and then we get deployed a week on Saturday. Uh, we're also back on Tanoa. I'm not sure if this is the map that we're actually getting deployed on. Uh, the deployment on this one, all we've been told is Africa. Um, so it could very well be. Just a sec. Could be very. It could very well be. Sorry. And um, that we actually get deployed on Tanoa again. Don't feel. Don't feel. Don't let them know. Tin. Crisis on 114. Everyone, make sure they're on whisper, please. How would you go on whisper? Alright, boss, kits. Kit check done, radio check done. Cheers. Nice one. <laughs> yeah, mags out. It's good to have radios back. Ma mags out, penis is in. Plugs in. Whose penis? Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I deserve that, I guess. Coleman has a dreadlock. Uh, yeah, so. Um, anyone that. I just like watching streams and that lot. Um, when I first got. Make sure you're on Whisper as well. About a year ago, <laughs> when I joined the 4th of we actually got to put to know first of all. So, yeah, so I'm not sure if we're getting deployed to know or not. It's exactly the same situation. JC was actually on this island. Um, we did eventually move to here, but the radios were terrible here. And the, the deployment times for JC was terrible. Right, cool. Everybody hear me? Oh, here we go, Pigeon. I'm going to mute my mic a minute. Yo, excellent. Right, one platoon are going to weigh and do their bits and pieces. FSG are doing theirs. Medical, EOD will do theirs. Uh, holding section, you're going to be with me. Depending on how things go, a lot of you will join the sections and be passed out and be part of the sections. 
Um, Zeus going to do whatever fucking Zeus do. Right, uh, as you all know, World War Two op was cancelled because the fucking mods were pish. Um, we're building up for conventional. Uh, we've got MST for tonight. We got it Saturday, and then next Wednesday, and then on the following Saturday will be the kickoff of Operation Panther. I've got no details on it at the minute, but the MST map will give you a clue. The kind of terrain we might be going to, or partly yeah. might be going to. I'm sure it'll be dead, dead fun. Uh, we're still missing one, two, three, four. Four people. Why is Purdy not in there? User joined your channel. No. You're chinning me off. Oh, uh, he has some mod issues. Sorry, I was a whisper. He's got some mod issues. Wow. When was the last time we updated the mod pack? Majorly? Uh, majorly. This one. Fucking months ago. Yeah, so cool. Uh, what else is there? Masterson, score with him, bit. Uh, no idea. I'll jump out. Give me a sec. And Mad Manford. User left your channel. Excellent. That's always good when that happens. Okay, uh, one platoon, you're good to. Oh, fuck. There's a man truck over there if you need it. Remember, fucking MST, no teleporting fucking all over the place. Right. FSG, you free off fuck. Yeah, those. Three mage, you free off fuck. Prep to move, we'll probably follow the three section. Right. There, there's the uh, smelly ones on the right hand side of us. Alright, one platoon, we're heading Good west fun. toward the right. man trucks down right. the wrong way. Yeah. Holding section. Let's start moving out. Alright, right. Getting a rank in front of me. About Facing me, but in that direction. About face. Everson, you be right on marker. Means turn the fuck around. Everybody yeah, we'll dress off at of Everson. Angus, take us out. Back of the nice. on that side. You never fall in on that side. Uh, Ryan, follow on. And you, Lippy. You have a weird way of doing it, innit? Oh. Builder, other side. Right. Yeah, let's go. Cool. Right, go. Cool. Uh, I need to go through who's here and who's not here. Everything you're here, so it's cool. Got a spreadsheet because I need to prepare. Right, you're right, right. guys. Alright, I'm back. I so just wanted to shut up. Oh, the major call. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What? Uh, Johnny and Black or Blackburn can drive either or. So leave a front seat free for me because I'm not sitting in the back of one of those things. <laughs> ah, that means I have to sit in the back. Because you're a back row badman, Ryan. Don't let me come over there, you little fucking cunt. You can sit behind you. Ryan. If I could sit on the roof, I would. Like, woo! Right, guys, let's start moving to the second man truck in. Peel off a little bit. If this truck is full, then we'll start piling into the next one. <coughs> Get in then, come on. <coughs> fucking hell. Wait for an invitation, or what? Right. Good. Oh my god, every time someone clicks in, I fucking. dislocated my fucking wrist or something. Yeah. <laughs> every time I click right and back, someone has bloody got in. <sighs> That's why we form an organised queue. Yeah. Fuck that. Just be good, good. Roll it. <laughs> Sound tasty. Fucking clamors, man. Swear to God. Quick ear. We're gonna go on this oh, road, no. through the gates, we're gonna go left, down this road here, we'll go right, and then pull up to the side of the road here when you see a bunch of Chinooks and Fox Hounds, alright? Uh, oh, 
or about here. Just out of I'll you. I'll just take first, uh, first back, mate. Or just follow Vales. I just want to make Tucker <laughs> happy. Make it stay. Alright, go behind the wheel then. Oh, yes. <laughs> I love you! Yeah. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> you win, Wally. Yeah, I'm in now. Hello, Wally. Welcome Hello. to the fun truck. This is the party bus. The, party bus. the, van, the Venga bus. Excuse me. Nice. <laughs> Are we going to pizza? <laughs> oh, oh yes. yes! No, no, no! Don't, that was allow that. That's valid. Come on, passengers in the front. Wake up. Who's on the left? Far left. Someone jump out. There we go. There we go. Calvin. Yes. No, we're two Vicks. Uh, negative, at uh, this time, uh, we are two Vicks and we are going about 200 meters away. Miss that. 200 meters in a man truck, really? One, two, three, <laughs> three and a half. There you oh, go. fucking walk it, dear. Yeah, it's in case a fatty's like me, I might have a heart attack. <laughs> are we there yet? I hate the back of these things. It gives me bad memories of being in that warrior. Who wants to play a fun game of 20 questions with me? How about you shut the fuck up? Nah, but listen here, so there's this girl... Alright, you're getting number. out. You're, you're getting out. <laughs> I spy with my little eye something green. Uh, it's a green weenie. Like I'm still into the necessity says it. Not today. It's baby Yoda. Yeah, I'm out of Nope. Well, Leo, vehicles no, off. Sure. Chinooks first. What? Uh, Vehicle. well, Chinooks first. <laughs> Ryan. What? What are you doing? What Not Ryan. Like, is it a man truck? Uh, very close. Very close. Is, is it the top all of this ground here? <laughs> brake, 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 brake. Do not dismount yet. Oh, it is. Right there. Like, boom, no. Jump out, everyone out. Go away! Oh my god! <laughs> Blue is enemy, yeah? Is that Michelson I heard? Alright, get her up, get her around. Bring it in. Skula circle aru. Around Walito aru. Go. I usually don't bite. I might shoot. He nibbles. Why are there still people in the back of this fucking man truck? Get out! <laughs> <laughs> Like a waterfall. Fucking shitfall. Right, get out of the quick. Excellent. There's everyone then, yeah. Okay. Or we uh, still we have people getting out of the. Truck. Yeah, we <laughs> still have. Uh. <laughs> Walker, you were meant to get out of the truck. <laughs> Is Walker the last again? No, it's Neil. Yeah, Thanks for flying. Alright, so he'll uh, he'll give you the example then when he's back. Alright, so behind me, as uh, you probably have noticed, there's a couple of Chinooks. So first thing we're going to be covering tonight is the dismount drills with the Chinook helicopter. Um, it's going to be pretty pretty simple uh, once we get into it. Uh, there's four Chinooks, and each is a number of sections. Um, so obviously this one here is four sections. One over there is two, and then there's two more Chinooks down there, which have one with two sections or a single section in them. They have different formations, but once you remember which formation uh, we go for, it's pretty easy to then start filing into it. The most important bit, though, for dismount drills to work is to uh, either during flight or before we get in um, confirm what section is which side. Now, when I speak of left, right, front, or rear, I'm talking about the left of the airframe, the right of the airframe, uh, not north, east, south, or west. So it's always easy to understand if I say left, then it's always left of the Chinook. Alright, so if you guys want to observe uh, the area here, you're free to wobble about, uh, see how it's been set up. We have the blue line group out in strong numbers. 
this is a formation that we go for with four sections loaded into the Chinook. Not sure if this many would actually fit in it, uh, but sometimes we have smaller sections and then it ends up being four elements. So the general rule of thumb, if the pilots don't have a death wish and the well trained as you know they usually are, they will phase the cockpit away from the most dangerous area, meaning that its rear, its big fat booty, is phasing towards the most dangerous area. Therefore, the infantry wants to set up security facing the most dangerous area first. I'm see people moonwalking. I hope we're not crashing. Okay, we should be good. All right, so the baseline here, that's the first formation you want to set up. So when we load up in a certain order, so for this case, it could be one, 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 two, one, three, one, four. That means one, four is the last to get in. They'll be the first to come out. General rule of thumb, order, seat orders might be a little bit jank and it might be a little bit mixed. But in this case, because one four has been the last to load in, they'll be the first to load out. One four is assigned to set up this baseline. Now, we can go very anal about this and go all order of march and we need to have precisely this order. This blue fella here, right here needs to be a certain role. I'm not for that. I need this baseline set up quickly. We don't intend to stay on an HLS very long. We just need to set up the security perimeter and then we crack on. So whoever is first of one four to come out of the back of that Chinook, he knows I'm one four. I need to set up the the rear. What we do as a general rule of thumb is we form up from the right. So he moves to this position here or wherever uh, there is a little bit of cover room to use. And then whoever is the second person of this 1-4 section to come out, you'll see that someone has already gone in front of him and he's the first guy. So he's just going to form up on his left. And you keep forming up on the left until there's a nice little baseline. Fire teams might be mixed uh, in this case, um, but at least the baseline is quickly set up. We can reorg in order of march once we're out of this open field. Now, important to remember is always remain flexible. If the first person that got out doesn't know the difference between left or right, and he starts going left, don't be anal and be like, oh, we always need to go right. It's a general rule of thumb. He went left, just go left and fill in from the left in that case. It's not that horrible. All right, so rear in this case with four sections needs to come up first. Left or right, it doesn't really matter. Both need to be set up roughly simultaneously. I'm least worried about the front because I just mentioned as well, the front, if the pilots use their noggin, they'll face that cockpit to the least dangerous area. So that is the least, inter uh, least interesting area for me right now. So that can be the last section. Odds are by the time the section is still running to that place, Chinook is already lifting off and we might already be stepping off from this area. So this formation might not even be fully set up. It needs to be that that quick. User left to um, as mentioned, it'll be pre-arranged. So your section will be told either pre-flight or during flight, you're gonna take the left or the right or the rear or the front. So you know which way you're going. Important for you to know though, is when I say the left, it's those guys over there. But when you come out Chinook here, you're going to be facing this way. And if you're in your mind, think left, you might go and I turn left, but then I end up on the right of the airframe. So it might seem very logical, but yeah, you need to think mirrored. You have your back face towards the airframe. You need to turn right in order to set up left. User joined your channel. Same rule here. First guy. In this case, on the left, it's the shortest sprint to set up over here, and then people fill in on the right. On the other side, it's that guy over there, so everyone forms in on the right. It's the closest to the exit of the airframe, so we can set up nice and quick. Uh, for the one on the front, 
general rule of thumb again applies here so we want to form up from the right so uh, in our example one one would be setting up over there they'll come out of the airframe make a left turn and they'll start forming up on the right and then a nice square is formed you guys have any questions regarding this formation here I have mushrooms fire away um isn't there only normally a minigun only on one side so wouldn't it be logical that the opposite side is the one that sets up first the minigun yeah during landing procedures the gunner usually phases his gun downwards i'm not yeah, relying I'm just, I'm on that thing to do gets, anything for me no no i'm just like wouldn't it be logical in case he gets attacked anyways that that side is set up so i like your train just... of thought but yeah mm. So you gotta have to put yourself in yelling if you want to say anything, Booth. Um, am I? Am I in yelling? Now yeah. you are. Um, I think that the safe direction is the direction that they want to be running away in. Generally speaking, not uh, necessarily where they're covering. Huh? Yeah, I'm not As following the that idea. So the airframe wants to go in the safe direction rather than... Yeah, I'm talking cover. about what side the infantry sets up due to like the helicopter being armed on one side. Mm. I'd defer yeah. to JHC on this one, but I think yeah, yeah. maybe in this case uh, they shouldn't be using the minigun anyway if they're on the ground. No, 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 no they shouldn't, protecting. but it just in, like in those moments before... Like, for instance, if you start saying this side sets up first, then that side sets up first, and until this side can set up, the minigun is free to fire. Whereas if those two sides set up simultaneously, uh, the minigun is not free to fire whatsoever. I think we'll talk to JC, but I think there is quite a risk of that minigun hitting one of us at some uh, point. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Okay, cool. Yeah, so it doesn't matter left or right, whichever we set up first then, because that cool, minigun cool. is out of action. That's it. All right, so, uh, yeah, fire away. What happened to not being in front? What happened to not being in front? Yeah, because of the blades. Uh, fourth sec section opened. We need to put them somewhere. We might as well put them. That's why they're far out front. And, well, maybe the spacings here are a little bit close to the airframe. Uh, more for demonstration purpose, just the same as why. Sorry, let's do still that. Um, these guys are very remember, I'll give you for a while. Just so you have a picture. Just saying that when you uh, what it will look like, come down to land, Kishi, the minigun is facing up. Uh, just in case that you need to, as soon as so we'll touch the ground, uh, the minigun will move the face to the ground. Uh, that way it just protects the infantry. Alright, so to briefly touch on while in the airframe, uh, some of you might already know this. But the way we get out is if you are sitting on the right side of the airframe on one of those seats, you look towards the exit, so you look over your left shoulder, and when there's no one sitting in between you and that rear door, that's your turn to get out. So people sitting closest to the exit, they're the first to get out. And obviously that's watching over your right shoulder if you're just sitting on the left. If you're sitting in the middle, because we're stuffed full, uh, it's the person right in front of you. As soon as he's out, then it's your turn to go. So that still, that rule still applies. That means that people might be running in three, maybe four different directions if we're if we've loaded up in a big old mix bag. Um, but that's just a choice of rather get it done over with quickly than trying to fuck with Arma and its way it loads up passengers. Cool, all right. So that's the four section one. Let's move over to the three section one. Right here. Put my back. Yeah, so used to be part of GHC, anyone that's uh, tuning in, uh, watch this on YouTube, someone used to be in GHC, so. Forming a triangle shape around the HLS here. So same rule applies. Rear's being set up first, and now we just rotate left or right. Also, same rule applies here. You come out if you need to set up the rear. You the first guy set up from the right. Everyone fills in on the left. You form a nice little baseline. Something to keep in mind, though, is if you are this guy right here, don't just tunnel vision towards that direction. You also keep an eye out over there. 
If you're all the way on the left side of the formation, keep an eye out to the northeast in this case. Don't get tunnel vision. For the <laughs> echelon shapes on the sides here, you want to form up similar to what we did previously. So over there, you form up on the left. If you're setting up on the right, you form up on the right. But you want to, if you are the first guy, run a little bit further away from the airframe so we can set up in a crooked shape at the echelon. Just so that we can get a little bit more of that ARD. If we go into a horseshoe, it's not the end of the world. This is just the preferred method. Any questions? Oh wait, no, that's handgun. Wait. Excellent, pretty easy stuff. Alright, so we'll crack on. This check here shows you the formation we go for with two sections loaded into the airframe. Now both sides need to be set up. So if it's one one and one two loaded in, we'll just toss a coin. One one you go left, one two you go right. Yeah, There's no real reason to go left or right first. They both need to be set up. However, again if you're the first guy, you want to set up the rear first. So if you belong to this section, this is where you start your formation and then people start filing in on your right and it's mirrored over there. You guys have questions about this one? Note how it arcs a little bit. So it's a half moon shape formation. So the section faces rear, faces left, faces front. And I'm talking about this section, of course, here. You're observing 180 degrees with your section. Last but not least, a luxury trip. Just a single section in the entire trip. The only formation where it's not really worth running around like maniacs trying to circle around the Chinook. It's a lot faster to perform your ARD behind it. Note though that these people no, here, just say congratulations. they still face towards the Sorry. airframe <laughs> and they're probably able to just see enough uh, past the cockpit that there's hardly any blind spots so you can still uh, see your 360 even with the airframe touched down. No. Facings here are a little bit cramped. Um, I've placed it in an open area uh, for training purpose, but obviously those trees over there would be a great place for an AOD to be set up. Same rule applies here. It's easy to remember. Start from the right. So you go from this guy, and you just start filing it. This is the second. Over here is the third, etc., etc., until your ARD is complete. Nice and easy to follow. Alright, do you guys have any questions for your dismount drills? Now's your time. When it's five or six, are we assuming we just go into the ARD at the back? Yeah, if you're five or six, consider yourself as one section. Since we all do the same drill, it, it doesn't matter if there's people from all sorts of different sections here. The same rule applies, so if you're a section size of reinserts, this is the formation you go to. And you can discuss that while you're in the airframe. It has lovely intercom channel. Disagree with everyone. Alright, we're doing the ARD, the single section formation, when we get out. Everyone should know what that means. And I'll make sure that you guys know what that means. I'll leave you to your textures to start practicing. The way we'll do it is in a moment I'll tell the Blumen group here to go home. So there's four Chinooks here. Uh, your section gets in the back of one, so we'll say 1-1, one, one, you take this one. 1-2, one, then 1-3, one, and 1-4, one, we'll go for a long run initially. Once <laughs> we're all done though, and you've done this formation here, because you'll only be one section in the airframe. Meet up at 1-3's Chinook. And I will go into the two section one. Alright, I see. Fire away. I'll get right, ready one to four, move four, four, mate. 
One section, stay here. Uh, Bill's uh, close with no cigar. Which <laughs> Oh, do they level it? Do they not? Yeah, yeah, it's level. That's uh, currently down. It break the helicopter. No, I will. I will let you take over then. Uh, ah, right. oh, Walker. <laughs> Order much? Come on. I can't get through. I know what they're marching. Nope, just load up. Right, right, you load up as well. I'm going to watch everybody get out and get out. How did I manage to get here? Why the fuck, like? Right, single layer D chaps. D boss, D boss, D boss. God. No personal logo show. So, I said, we stand up where you are and turn around into the middle, see where we all ended up. Okay, so I like where Jody ended up because what's a key threat? If the enemy has uh, explosives, uh, shocker. <laughs> Helico boom. Yeah. Oh yeah, I've got radios. So I can use this now. Yeah, there's a risk of the chopper becoming a fireball. So you want to get off and put yourself a little bit of distance in it. Remember your spacing during daytime is 10 to 15 meters. So let's all load back in and get out an ARD again. And just keep the distance that Johnny put between him and the chopper. That's how much distance you guys should be making. Okay. Oh, who oh, got the cutter? <laughs> Greater no. <laughs> Greater oh, yeah, I should go back to the AC. Why am I getting poked? Right. <laughs> Jeez. So again, if you want to stand up and look in at the centre, see where you are now. You've all got a nice little bit of distance between yourselves. You've either went prone or taken cover behind a tree or a rock or something. And you're far enough away. So if that's really you, know, skin you, know, you might still get injured, but you're not going to end up T4. Everybody happy with that? Yeah, budget. And things like, so we've got Johnny and Charlie on the left side, with the other two Charlie guys on the right side. For this, it doesn't matter. We'll sort ourselves up while we're on the move. Cool. Nice and simple, chaps. So nine times out of ten, I'll be last into the chopper and first out the chopper. So I'll be your point to form off of. But if I'm not, because I'm either not there or I'm dead or elsewhere, then Ryan will be last in and first out. She should always have me or Ryan to follow. Cool. With that then, we'll start going into the other section and start practicing the two section stuff. Yeah. Sounds like FSG are not having fun. It's either that or it's holding section. <laughs> either that or it's holding section. Whoever's shooting is having a lot of fun. Might be holding section actually. Sounds like holding section that. Ooh. Uh, 
Uh, do you want me to level the ramp, Walker? Mm. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Does your character have, what are they called, braids? 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 Yeah, he's got dreadlocks. He's dreadlocks, dreadlocks, yeah. He's clean his hair. <laughs> oh, is that Scott? Yeah, oh, it is dreadlocks. <laughs> it is dreadlocks. <laughs> Out on the street, they call it murder. Is Walker gonna murder up or what? No. Oh, this guy's. <clears throat> Filling in from the left. <laughs> Woo! Oh, hey. What, our, le our left or left of the heli? Heli left. Heli. Always from the helicopter, boys. And yeah. chugga 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 chugga. Dismount! Pretty good. I'm very smelly, apparently. I don't want to tell you, mate. What's going on, guys? I'm not like, used to this level of competency. Yeah. Don't worry, it'll all get foobar when we're happy in the not. Sounds like a lot of fun. Oh shit, I just took the shrapnel. Man up, chaps. Let one three board and then follow in. Just say like GHE, looking over a tree. Same thing. Same thing. Left side of bird, turn right. I'll give us one out from our section. Fair enough, Nick. I will. I am now riding in the back. Wink. Alright, all in. Chugger, chugger, chugger. Dismount! The fuck? <laughs> yes, boys. Yes, boys. That, I don't know what's got. I don't know what's gotten into you guys, but this is like. Have you lot been practicing over Christmas? That's well fucking done, perfect. Well done. Oh, ring, ring. Hello, operator. I am rock hard. Send pigs. Hi, and I as a stream. <laughs> well, I guess we don't really need to do it again. Nobody watches it. Yeah, it's just like the I first do. time was a bit fucked. Wow. Like, hey, Siri, set time for two minutes. Oh yeah, that's true that. Right chaps, load up. Section, once again, round up! 
Right, let one three get in first and then follow in. So this time we'll be going to the other side of the airframe. So we'll be going to the right side of the airframe. So when you exit, turn left. I don't get it. In 30 seconds, turn left. And you're meant to be a teacher, Johnny. Meant to. After the HLS, take a right turn, and you will arrive at your destination. Left turn, you fun. <laughs> right, we're swapping sides for this turn now. This oh. sat nav is a dolphin walker. <laughs> I don't know right from left, is that a problem? Just hold your hands yes. up in front of you. Forward. Chugga, chugga, chugga. Just mount. I'm liking the new JHC, they actually... Can I get a transfer about the GHC, please? <laughs> yeah, I'll try Can I get a transfer about the GHC so I don't have to put up with this lot? Right, chaps, let's start moving over to the other Chinook and we'll start doing the three section drills. Again, very, very similar, except uh, with more sections. Same thing, but different. <laughs> Anyone notice anything different about that helicopter? It didn't crash. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, okay, never mind, we're using the same airframe. The one with the fucking tree in the back, rather than the one with the empty rear end. Uh, Walker is nice. Can I uh, level the ramp? It's giving me fucking pain in the ass. Yeah, no, I'll sort the ramp, uh, otherwise it may explode. <laughs> It's giving me OCD. It's triggering my. It's triggering my OCD. Da, 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 da. See from this distance, well, the officers look like kangaroos. What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's level. What? Guns facing down. What's on stream, Dale? Oh yeah, down on streaming. <laughs> what wouldn't they do oh. now? Triangle, yeah. I mean, I mean, if it, if it makes you feel any better, stream. Kangaroos are tasty. Oh, <laughs> You're not thinking out of this. <sighs> you guys waiting on anything? Right, stop fucking about. Form up behind that Chinook. Nice straight line, one four. Which one? This one. The one that I'm pointing at to the west. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'll uh, let you join in once they've done it once. Okay, what palm tree? One three. You're there, you're there, just make it a line. Me. Got it. Well, that's how you board a Chinook. In a herringbone. You get in. Herringbone. 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 Yeah, do I get brownie points? Ryan, you're supposed to be in front of me. Squeeze up. I'm in front of you. Squeeze up, make it. Order a march. And herringbone. What the bloody hell? Come on. Right, one four, start mounting up. One in. That's a high coat, that's that was. Four in. <laughs> come on, guys, head him board up, head him board up. Come on, come on, come on. Should be a five, that's it. Go, 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 I keep moving out of this, it won't hit me in the yeah, head yeah. when I'm <laughs> He's in. Pleb. 
<laughs> Seven's in. One one will take left. <laughs> one four will take right. So we're going left. left. It did not let me in. Great. Out two rounds. Two out of time. So also, Bam, guys. you're fucking us up. Get in the fucking bed. Come on. <laughs> also, guys, remember Stop to leave, me leave the back there we go. for the other section. Well, it's all right, right. Walker, mate. You gave him a fucking 20 second notice. It's fine. Right, what side are we on? Apparently <laughs> 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 not. One one just moved left. Watch for this right side of airframe. Oh, exit left. One three, we're last in, so we take the rear. We're going left. <laughs> chugga chugga chugga. Just move. Is that a thing oh, now? Is that a fucking thing now? Yes. Better not be. Nope, nope. Wait, wasn't one go. three out first because they came in last? No. Are we not at the rear? Are we at the rear? Make sure that you leave the rear clear for the other section. Push in a little bit. There you go, perfect. Have you all eaten your wheat bix this morning or something? Breakfast is for pussies. I think we need to put Crater in the holding section. Agreed. Right, Herring Bourne, we're the Chinook. I need a transfer. We're three Herring Bourne off of uh, one. One. Right, do it again. So one Four. three, get at the back of the line. One one one. One Four, three. I'm not really bothered about you guys. Pick up pick right. where you want. Don't worry about that. Just a little bit of indirect fire. Right. So what you're gonna do, one three, you're gonna hold the three. Because you're, you're gonna be out first. Yeah. That's all you're gonna form to the rear of the Chinook. You're not gonna fucking run 20 meters that way. I've just seen that. Four five eight. And then one, who else we got? One one, you'll be on the left hand side of the board. Well, nice little fucking diagonal line, baseline once again. And then one four, same thing, right hand side. Right, my mark. Anyone not know what we're doing? Oh, that means, calls. in this case, even if there's someone in front of you who's not one three, remember you always out. go to the front first one out. Out. I think Dale, correctly. We do this. Right side. Seven's in. First yeah. one out wants to go to the rear. Seven side, in. Right? Yes. Okay, because I All don't in. really understand that. It looked like it happened. Get to the rear first and then feel to that. In this case, that guy's left. You're going to push southwest or left side of bird quite far out, linking with the right right hand side of no, one. Just fucking three. Get on. So guys, I'm gonna be on the far right of the baseline. Everybody else forms baseline like the off of me. Any questions? No. I found my phone. Oh, one. Boss, boss, boss. You didn't say chugga chugga chugga. Oh, gee, oh. You didn't say 30 seconds. <laughs> From your forming on my left, my left. Oh, why did I spawn in? <laughs> my left, whoever's going to my right, you're going to my left. Yes? Not fucking lying? Not parallel to the body of the aircraft? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you got it, you got it, you got it, you're doing it. It's happening. Seven set. Who's there? <laughs> Two four four, mate. Diagonal. Can someone yell something motivational just to, uh, you know, overshadow Dale a bit? <laughs> Banana. <laughs> Oh. 
Right guys, Herringbone, rear of the chopper. We're gonna let the other guys go first, we're gonna be the last section in, so the first section out. So we're gonna take the rear? We're gonna take the rear, which means exiting and defending the southern arc. The normal look down the line I think is well, getting MC. That still counts, but just not when you need to be the first one out. And you just get the fuck out. Understood? So, basically, yeah, it's just baseline. Your section, yeah. yeah, baseline south, basically, innit? Yeah, basically. I would assume 1 1 is going first. We're looking herringbone. Yeah, but, but I'm, I'm just... We changing up the, the order, I'm happy to go first. Yeah, we're going last then, this time. So, wait, you're going last then, so that means you're taking... Well, which one are you taking? Are you taking the, the rear Sorry. base line or what? Rear. Taking the bottom. Okay. Oh. Take your bottom. Okay. Listen, I walk, have you ever seen a herringbone like this before? Uh, I don't know. No. I don't, I've never I seen have. one. Permission aboard. I think everybody should be lined up behind Blackburn because he's the point man and every formation runs off him. Really? Don't make his head any bigger. Yep. I'm here. Fuck off. I'll let your evicts in, you fucking mean cunt. Come on, you're looking the wrong yeah, way. Then you just, yeah, you just keep walking until there's the angry pilot man says, get the fuck down. Right, everybody <laughs> in. <laughs> Someone to call all in before Walker gets in. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> 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 Right of our base, <laughs> left of me. Jeez, Dale. <laughs> <laughs> right, the right, boss, the boss. Right, right. Yeah, the trigger, trigger, trigger. Someone fucked it. Come on. Uh, right oh, come on. Oh, oh, right hand, the boss already. Oh. Push left. Okay. Alright, that could have been bad. <laughs> no bad though. Uh, question on that, I was next to Walker, Walker's first man out. Am I supposed to look to the, to the entrance of the bird and watch for the man to the right? If we are last in, we need to be first out. So I should have left right after you, yeah? yeah. So I should be looking towards the bird, but towards you. Um, it's a weird one. Strictly speaking, you should be looking to the door. Uh, but for the rear section, defending the rear of the bird, we need to be first out. Yeah, because that thing looking towards the exit doesn't work because we're... Squished in the back. Roger, good to know. Right. Uh, answer. Don't we just get the fuck out? <laughs> Don't worry about order or anything, just get out when we're in the rear section. When we're in the rear section, absolutely. We just. Our priority is getting out of the bird and getting the air. The, the baseline set up to cover everybody else debussing. Right, let's start bringing it in. Uh, one of the old ones to run through the last in the four section format. Mm, yes, just have our just Hello. basics of uh, yeah, that's the whole thing boarding up. the bird. Oop, sorry. Yeah, boarding uh, the bird and desporting the bird. So. <coughs> yeah, I don't like that. I I honestly thought it uh, it would fill you up from the cockpit side and then forward, but I think Mikkelsen also told me it's different. It is. Yeah, that's why it's been uh, a little oh. bit messed. Okay. 
thinking on the fly here. So, a workaround for that, in case, uh, well, you've all noticed how it loads up. So, if we would look towards the rear and wait for people to leave, as, as I just explained to you, uh, sections will be one mixed bag, um, and we're all going all over the place. It's something we could go for, absolutely. Uh, but then in that case, setting up the rear is the first isn't really going to be that possible. Um, an alternative, and I mentioned it to Mickelson real brief, is that we use the 4-1 frequency. So as soon as your section is out, you radio through. The same way we did it, or, or do when we've loaded up. Short message, 1-1 one, one Charlie's out. And then the next one goes. That's also a way to do it. I think the priority, I think we all know the priority is getting that rear security. Because once that rear security is down, it doesn't matter what everybody else does because they're in relative safety getting off the bird. Yeah, so that's right. that's why I made the call that since we're the first one, or last one's in, we're the first ones out, no matter where the fuck we're feeding the bird, yeah, then let, let so. everyone else sort out how the fuck they get out. Okay, yeah, well, let, then let's all agree, because uh, I wasn't fully aware how, how messed up that loading system is then. Yeah, um, ICs or 2SE on 4.1 one will just quickly let everyone know that their section is out, so we can do this section reverse order. Uh, last section in is the uh, first out. Makes sense. Okay, okay. all right. Let's yep. practice the four section dismount drill then using that Chinook so we're not close to the tree here. And then we'll uh, practice with the the way we just agreed on. So we'll load up in 1 1, 1 2, 1 3, 1 4. That means 1 4 will be the first to get out. Roger. Let's do it. All right, herring bone off 1 2 once they set up. Walk out. Okay, I need to get Yo. to the window right now. and Mason go and walk out. Okay. Yeah, you're sweet. We're in the back. Come with me, Chaz. Yep. Beck. This is gonna be a long yep. ass line. Uh, You're a long ass line. Fuck. Take that back. You heard me, bitch. Right, long ass line. Right, Mason okay. and Latchford, if you wanna go up on me. And Mason, if you wanna put your BFA back on as well, mate. He's in front of me. Right, Mason. Oh, yeah. Right, Lach, Charlie, Mason, and Charlie as well. Let's have both of them. Ryan's supposed to be in front of me. No. Yes. No. <laughs> yes. Uh, field that and roll ball. You're with this. Right, so we're doing this, mate. Right. Right. Screw it up the order of March, Ryan. Fuck off. We're going to be the last thing tonight. We're moving forward. They are now first time members of the section. Off the board. Make sure you introduce them to everyone else. The way we do it in the first section is the board when we're dismounting. Right, let's check out the baseline to the rear of the board. I'll be for this man right. Uh, Therefore, you guys should start forming baseline. Yeah, 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 I think we're losing a section. Hold on. Is that your Alright, once we fucking get in that fucking herring bro. Let me in, you fucking chubby bastard. Hang on, hang on, when is it? Fucking now. I don't remember. Get your way, don't you? <laughs> right, don't uh, everybody it take it a shot from the rear. Yeah, look at that Make sure there's enough room for the Charlie uh, guys to fit in. Got my camera. Right, jump back a bit. Excuse us, Ryan. Do you want to go last? It's fucking right there. Right, move, keep moving it back. Come on. Keep moving it back, chaps. Call set in the bush. Don't bang. Don't go. Don't Oh, it's done that stupid thing that keeps your mouth pure. It's got a little slide on my boot, fella. Why won't you let me know you want to learn? I refuse to be a comment. Eat our way out. Oh well. Better dead than red. You have to add these two to the Discord group, Walker. They are now frequency. Right, the guys at the front. The, the, with the new guys joining, they're just sorting out team management and all that kind of business. What colour are we? On the, the on the net. What radio frequency are we? Oh, one one four. Yeah, one one four. Oh, good coach. Get in the Discord so you can join in the bands. All the bands. What bands is that? Four. <laughs> one one four. Radio check one one four. Yep. Check oh, okay. Radio check one one four. Yeah. Check okay. Radio hey. check GHC. Fuck off, Get in the bush. <laughs> Get in the bin. Fucker, what one are you doing? Uh, 
Right. Yeah, we're the rear Ryan. Last in. We're the rear. Right. So I'll be, Ellis, I'll be the front first man right to you guys no, no, for baseline no. off of me. Yeah. The only person that should pop, that should be on my right hand side would be Blackburn. <laughs> you would move, Blackburn, you would shift onto my right hand side and everybody else forms off left. And that means we're in order match. Okay, okay. Essentially, you're forming a baseline facing south. Fuck that fucking bow. <laughs> I fucking break Blackburn's legs. <laughs> One in. Are we bum rushing it out? Oh, that's where yes. at the rear. Yes. So yeah, one four. We are first out of the bird, regardless of your seating position. Seven in. So we're performing um, helicopter dismount drills. So we're going to be like already right checking. So yeah, I can see yeah. what we're doing in the moment is helicopter right dismount right drills. Right we'll be the right second right section to lead the bird. When we do, we'll go left of the helicopter, right so side. that's so the west. First man is to the rear of the bird on the right hand side. Roger. Of the bird. So you'll exit, the head left, the bus, and then the you'll bus. be moving from uh, the right hand side left. <laughs> That's a beautiful cluster line there, gents. <laughs> yeah, oh shit. Oh well. Remember, a baseline doesn't need to be an exact straight line, it's an estimation of a straight line, depending on what cover you've got. I'm looking about spacing, uh, uh Walker, that's what I was on about. With the numbers we've got, there's not much we can do about spacing in this scenario. Otherwise the square will be fucking humongous. What's wrong with that? Aye, remember we're not repelling a cavalry charge with this square. <laughs> Could do. Fix bayonets. Fix bayonets. Jinx. Oh, I like you. I know. Can I get a transfer back to GHQ please? I don't know, deal with one That was call speaking, right? No, it's so. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. One transfer back. <laughs> Ryan, are you just checking out everyone's asses at a long what? what? No. I mean, I'm for it, but just give us a bit of warning next time. We'll do some squats. Yeah. Right, we'll, leave. well let's do uh, let's do horse and shoot four sections. I'm just going to push out against them. I'm going to report you to change the section. Uh, right outside Seems Ryan is enjoying uh, the fact that there's no longer anyone under 18 in this section. <laughs> 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 what about the new guys? They don't count. Oh, you were 14. Right. I'm fucking 18 now, apparently, I've been told. Well, you told me that. Thomas like seven and a half. Well, I'm 18, bite me. Well, now you're 18, yes, I will. I'm pre Thursday. Did you say bite me? Yeah. Yes, I did. No, you can't win. He's your bed. He's really not. Can I get a transfer back to GHC because I don't have to put up with them? <laughs> no, Niles, you can't leave. Niles, you love us, really. Mm. Otherwise, you wouldn't have love premium you, content. <laughs> Why are you so close to me? <laughs> what is it? We're back. I need to pee. 
can't go pee at a time like this. In our time of need. Get them all gargled in the pocket of fucking bird with four lines of the sexes. School circle back to Chinook. No, school circle getting four lines. Four lines back to Chinook. Uh, one for which side? The congregation, do you mean lines or columns? Columns. Face this way. Face me. Face me. I know I'm ugly, but you still have to face me. <laughs> You're not boss. Pretty. That's okay, I understand that. Spangle get jealous. There's more section. Uh, right, cool. A little bit of confusion, because we've got the four sections. d in Oh, our fucking Chinook is, yeah. is confused people. Easy way to do it is exactly how we did it before. Fucking dead, dead simple. You've got four sections of X amount of guys. Chinook. The front of the Chinook is always six o'clock. The back of the Chinook where you come out is always 12 o'clock. Everybody understand that? Yep. Cool. So, whatever section's coming out first, or so whether it's 1-1 one, one or 1-4, one, or whoever's coming out first, you know where you're going. You're you're going to cover the back end of the Chinook. You imagine a clock face placed on top of the Chinook from above, between the angles of fucking 11 o'clock and 1 o'clock, nobody in 4IB goes. Not one fucking soul. Not me, not the Sergeant Major, not all the way down to the news fucking recruit who passed out last night. Nobody goes between 11 o'clock and 1 o'clock. So you basically spread between 1 o'clock and 11 o'clock, you split it between the four sections. So you could say, fucking right, 1-1 one, one, you're going to cover from 1 o'clock to X o'clock, 1-2 two, uh, one, two, you're going to cover from X o'clock to X o'clock, 1-3 you're going to go from X to X, 1-4 you're going to go from X to X. As long as the first section comes out, covers the back end first. Does that make sense? That's what we were doing. No, you were making a square, I've just been told, hence I wouldn't have brought you all together. Oh, the fourth section was, yeah, the first yeah. three were. Yeah, no, that's it. Forget about the fourth, everybody's worried about this fourth se uh, section. Nothing changes in any of our drills. You just fucking got mere firepower to put down. Nobody goes at the front of the Chinooks. In real life, they didn't even go to the front of the Chinooks. We definitely did a date at 4IB because you'd end up with a fucking Chinook on your head. And then waiting 40 minutes to get reinserted. That's it. Dead, dead simple. So, as a dry run to the back of the chopper, there's no point in getting on to come all off. So, when I say go, I want fucking. used to come off in whatever order you just. Was it what order did you just come off on? 1 4, 1 3, 1 2, 1 1. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Right, so. Walker, lead you. When your guys are good to go, you'll cover. 12 till, fuck it, yeah, what should we go for? Uh, uh, 1 till half past 3, or you'll go half past 3 to 6. Okay. So 1, we've got 1 3, we'll then go 6 to fucking yeah. half past 8. And then fucking 1 1, we'll go half past 3 to 1, <laughs> and what? 1 fucking what? 2. Yeah. I'm confused. Yeah, I'm confused. It's, not, it's <laughs> oh, so easy. <laughs> Question. Clock Why is, is 12 at the back? Yeah, you said 12 Thank is you, at the back. 12 is at the back, just to make it e easier. Unless you want to go the other way and swap what? it. Yeah, what? What? We weren't allowed it. Oh. 12 is over there. You've just said we can't go between yeah. 11 and 1. Yeah, Yeah, which is that way. No, you said 12 was at back. the back. You said 12 I didn't know. The yeah, I mean the other way. <laughs> I'm old, leave me alone. Oh, 12 is at the front then. Okay. 12 is at the front, 6 is at the back. Yeah. That makes sense, Just to confuse everybody even more. Fuck, okay, I ain't taught this in oh, about a year now. Can um, we just make it simple and say we've got three sections covering one covering rear, one covering left, one covering right, and the fourth section fills in any gaps? Is that what it, say it says in the book? What does it say it says in the book? Yeah, you form a triangle around the chinook with three sections as you put in. And then the fourth section that we have. Would just fill in any blank, any gaps, because we have a fourth section which okay. it doesn't plan for. Off mic, 
But if you split it down, because then you, your section is going to be scattered about. No, so if my section gets out first, it covers rear. The second section out covers left, the third section out covers right, and the fourth section fills in any gap. So yes, the fourth section will be split. It's scattered. But if you're stepping up, but then that fourth section would be the last section to step off and then have the most time to reorg. You're making it so, so uh, difficult by splitting up a section. How's he supposed to control it? Try it. Go on. If you try, try it the way you've just done it, and then we'll, we can react to fucking enemy fire. <laughs> Come on, whisper. No. No, you got it. Go on, then. <laughs> okay, let's form up the back of the Chinook Japs. There we are. <laughs> Doing some what? Alright, bring it in, chaps. We're getting on last, remember. Oh, I was doing it. One, yeah, four, first, one, three, second, one, two, third, and then Why one, we first? one will be there. Because we're going to split up, because it was my... Yeah, one, one, one will split up. Uh. It'll be like, wham. Oh, no. <laughs> right, we don't need to load up. Right, one, four, debus, 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 let's start moving out. At the rear. We've done this just before. Nice baseline. There you go, keep going, keep going. Yeah, Charlie's good. Left. Going yeah, there you go. Alright, sexy. Oh, fuck. I nearly fell over Coleman there. That was much better than last time. But obviously, wasn't out of a Chinook, which was a bit iffy. Could do it how we used to do it, Walker. Where you start with here? Contact oh, south. Contact conventional. No eyes. Got the BFA. I mean, to remove BFA. BFA is off. Right. Contact one eight five. Section, rapid fire south. Fuck them up. Section, well bound. Charlie, prepare to bound. Charlie, bound. Tree light in front of us. Down. Man down. <laughs> Just say, I need to go across my phone. That I happened. Got one shot in. <laughs> yeah, okay. I, I couldn't actually see where they were. <laughs> no, I could see where they were. I was just trying to see this one. I was, I was shooting as well, yeah. I was like, oh, let's just suppress and then boom, dead. Yeah. Yeah. Ryan, you up? No, I'm dead. One's up, we've got contact northeast. What? Six, seven, eight are all tier four. Yeah, like straight up. I heard one ping close. Charlie, who's up? Tag. Call off my one's numbers. Up. Reloads, make sure you're sure safe. One's up, so. northeast contact. Sure, make sure you're up. 
That's alright, I have my gun on safety for most of it. <laughs> Latch pretty up. Dude, I just couldn't see them, so I was like, well, I'll put some rounds down range. Yeah, I'm you know. currently tier 2. What's that? And you got C tab is any of those out? Um, I'm gonna go with no. Taking fire. Contact coming in southwest. Yes, in armor, yeah. I swear. Ace must be balked. We won't get in one tap in previous performance like this. I didn't get one tap, one tap. I got one tap, went unconscious, and then got back oh. up again, and got tapped again, and went, went and died. No, I got I got straight single shot down. Nothing hit, nothing, then just bam, dead. Hey, Ryan. Yeah. Hello. Yes. Hello, I'm, apparently I've got like this many people in free med now. Oh my gosh. Wait, yeah, you're still getting it's sunny it's as one of your free med guys? Yeah. Oh great! That means I get my own <laughs> fucking. I get means I get my own personal medic. I can re I can text. Nice. Oh, okay, I'm I'm running away. <laughs> this is the last one over here. Let me join your ward. <laughs> Niles, I swear to God, you try to balance again, and I won't heal you up until you go unconscious. Think of what oh fuck me! Uh, I got teleported. Yeah, but someone's probably gonna be Oh, Niles. Go. Alright, six, seven, eight. We're uh, back up. in. Push it back up. Shots northeast. Cole, how you doing? Walk you up, mate. I was three. Yeah, I'm up. Are like you okay? Yep. Alright, it's contact over. Contact's continuing. Uh, unknown, still your shots. Uh, right, Charlie, let's fan out on this ridge line that's getting cover, uh, covering south, southwest, and Charlie, this is common. southwest. This is common, be advised. I, I see currently taking fire. Yeah, don't worry about it. Are you, you dead, yeah? Died and now back at ITC. Alright, cool. Uh, rest of Delta is on me, so who's that? Crater, are you here? Nice, let's go to the uh... So, yeah, Scout calling you. Cole, come here. And uh, Niles, come here. Yeah, Roger, we're south. moving to you. So, grab southeast, Delta. Fan it out, southeast. Call. Bang on south, please. Roger. Charlie's got southwest. Entrench. Negative. Uh, no. Niles, you can take your safety yeah. off this time, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> right, chaps, uh, exercise is over. Let's start falling back in, and we're going to be heading out to the Fox Hounds to the s east of our position now. Alright, Coleman, order of match. BFA's back on, or what? Mm. Yeah, put your BFA's back on, take your mags out. What's the verdict then? His clock face, or the, the square? Nice. Uh, not the square, I think we're probably going for a hybrid of what I suggested and the fourth section floating doing something else. Alright, we'll Charlie, find out. go for it. But haven't we always just done the clock face where you just stack out one yeah, and no then idea. go to it's... the left? Yes, but we're trying something. I don't know why you guys are doing it so team. fucking awkwardly. Why not keep the fourth section as a floating reserve in case there's a contact, then you can apply sure. it to the contacted side. Because I don't want to be a floater. Is <laughs> that a poo joke? Maybe. <laughs> don't help me now. Are we going in? Uh, no, just form up next to where they go. Uh, let me fix that for you. 
Because he just said he needed a medic. Rushton, you've still got a magazine in. Everyone got a BFA is on, so. I've reckoned, I guess. Uh, now's the FK minute. Left field, mate, make your weapon safe, so magazine out. Get us out of them over there. 1 1, mag out, BFA on, make safe. Ah. If we didn't get told last time. Let's see if we get told. <laughs> cool. Alright, let's crack on. Uh, we spend enough time on the uh, helicopter launch, if you ask me. So, next is the Pakistan dismounts. You can see Blue Man Group, they're back in action, uh, this time in fire team size. Uh, we work a lot with Fox Sounds. We might, we might not work with them in the next up, um, but a lot of it still applies. So for dismounting, there are three types of dismounts. You have a soft, a hard, or a full dismount. Now to note here, in a fuck sound, there can be six people marked on. You have a driver, you have a Vic commander, you have two gunners on top, and then you can have two additional passengers. For a soft dismount, everyone except for the driver and the gunner, they get out. Passengers, Vic Commander. Vic Commander could stay in if it's necessary, but for soft, he gets out uh, as well. Hard dismount, the driver also gets out. So only the two gunners on these GPMGs, they remain in. And for a full dismount, as you probably guessed, everyone gets out. No one stays in the vehicle. Now for a dismount drill, it uh, can be followed up with a direction. My general rule of thumb, if I said full dismount and I wouldn't specify Rushing left, right, pass. front or rear, uh, that means you just form an ARD in the position that we are at. However, what we're practicing here is the four different types of directions. So behind me, right over here, this is a dismount to the front, so a full dismount front, everyone gets out, and they set up to the front of the Vic. So you can imagine the Fox Hound came through this field, parks up right here, and you get out, and you start facing towards the dangerous area, which could be this, uh, this forest line here. Same rule uh, that we use for the di helicopter dismount drill, form off the guy on the right. The easiest way to set up. Thing to note though with the Foxhound is that if you're sitting in front, either in the driver's seat or command seat, that's the side of the Vic you're gonna come out. Unlike the Chinook, you don't all come out of the back of this Vic here. Um, if we are doing a. Uh, never mind, sorry. I lost my train of thought there. Alright, so dismount front, full dismount, everyone gets out. And then it's followed up by the direction. It's always called out by the Vic commander um, of that uh, vehicle what type and what direction. Should be pretty easy to understand. If you look to your right, my left, there's an additional two fuck sounds that you're left and right. So it could be handy to park your fuck sound next to a good bit of cover and then have people dismount to the left or to the right so they can immediately use hard cover. If you are with six in a fuck sound, that's great because then you can form exactly what you see here, but then keep your gunners. So you do a hard dismount left. That's the case you see here. You see have still got two GPMGs providing fire support and you get a fire team out on foot to do whatever it is they need to do. And then the same over there with the one on the right. Um, for the formation there on the right, obviously the rule of thumb forming off on the right would mean that someone has to sprint all the way to the other end of the wall and then people kind of cram in between the fox out. You can already probably guess that that's a bit wank. So it's mirrored over there um, where the dismount is on the right. Easiest is to just form off from the guy closest to the Vic. Last but not least, 
if you look behind you towards the southwest, that's the one where they've dismounted to the rear. Similar to the front is just on the other side of the Vic now. Speaking from experience, this is not one you'll use a whole lot. This is not often that you'll reverse your vehicle um, when it's a fuck sound towards a dangerous area. This is something you do more with a uh, infantry fighting Vic where everyone comes out the rear. You guys have any questions? I've got one question. Fire away. Arc of fire on the jimpies on these Vicks. Where they can go, you mean? Yeah. Uh, they have a 180 degree yeah. from the back of the Vic to the front of the Vic and either left or right. That's the only question I've got. Thank you. Okay, so we'll do the same thing here. We'll uh, I have a quick question before we move on, sorry. Yeah, How far away. would that change with a Jackal or a Coyote with the commander's gun being front facing? <clears throat> He's still vehicle commander. So yeah, he's still he, a big commander. So he would still count for the things. I think he's on about positioning of the vehicle. I have to positioning the vehicle, yeah. Because if you put people change. in front of a jackal, it limits the firing arc of that front gun. Yeah, but it doesn't change. Because then no, you just don't call the front dismount. Don't stand in front of a machine gun. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, uh, I've already removed them. Um, Jackal, of course, is a little bit different. That's why we're doing fuck sound one. But hey -o, um if you are doing a soft dismount with a jackal, because that's the only reason when you would have your front gun still, um, those people that get out, I'd suggest the Vic Commander is cautious about it and says left or right or rear, so people don't get in front. But if he, for some reason, does decide to have those people get out and sit in front of his Vic, then yeah, don't sit directly in front of the Vic. No one has a call. Sit to the right or the left. So you leave. Uh, same with the uh, the Chinook. You have that fr from eleven o'clock to one o'clock gap. Yeah. Pie shape that you you leave open. So the jackal effectively becomes the middle point of your baseline. If you dismount front, yeah. Yeah. Cool. I, Just all right. Cool. So. Let me double check. Blumen Group should have uh, moved away now. Uh, Leave it in a minute, mate. Four dis uh, there's four fuck sounds here. Split up in your sections and practice a fire team at a time, and then the other fire team can observe, and then you swap. Right, guys, we'll take the one by the wall. Alright, one, three, right here. Right, that's a delta mount on first, and do a left side dip, soft dismount. Yes. Come on, try it, you fucking dick. I'll be back in a second. No, no, I, it was a stupid question. Down below. Oh, no, I thought about it. And then you want me off the jar? Does it exist, the like, the uh, right, left? Like, two on the left, two on the right? Uh, well, that's what I was asking with the I'm front front of this mount is with the jackal. Does that, is does that have left. a name, or is it just, like, half left, half right? Sorry, I must have. Was I talking? I might be whispering. So, yeah, That's your frontal dismount yeah. effect. We'll, we'll show it. Right, we're Left hand hard dismount. Mm, hard. And dismount. Ah, uh, Mr. Sorry about Hard that. this mount, so the gunner should stay in. That's a soft. No, hard. No. No. Right, this everybody mount back in, let's run through them all again. Come on, everybody back in. Soft dismount is gunner <laughs> and driver <laughs> stays in. Hard dismount <laughs> is everybody <laughs> apart from the fucking gunner stays in, and full dismount is every fucker gets out. Delta remount for me. See? Right, right, left hand hard dismount. Up. 
so hard this round, as Ryan said, is everybody but the Gunners. So in this case, it'd be Ryan, the driver, and the passengers in the back. Cool. Yeah, so I'm back. Delta, full dismount left. Get out. So this means full dismount means the gunners then join the baseline. And now we have an empty back. Cool. Right, Charlie, that's man up. And Delta, come to the rear of the Vic. Message one moment. So let's see. <laughs> right, okay, so a hard dismount. Charlie, soft dismount front. Let me make sure I'm on whisper. Mm. Right, so hard dismount is everybody out buying gunners, soft dismount is everybody out. So soft is driver and gunners stay in. Right. Hard is gunners stay cool, in. Cool, so Blackburn, can you see from the gun on the top? Everybody gets out. Uh, yeah, Roger. I've went to the front no, that's right. the bit I was missing. Uh, sorry, from left of the VEC. Latchwood's went to the so front right gunner, of the VEC. You only get out. I mean, the VEC is effectively dismount. open at the front. Yeah, Roger. Yeah? Uh, kind of. So if he says dismount left, I, I was more left. I was more thinking yeah dismount like right, right. right. Completely on the side front, like one and dismount rear, rear. Right. yeah. Cool, Johnny. Let's make it a hard dismount if you want to go to lateral right hand side. So this is effectively what you're getting at. So you've got two of us on the left hand side of the back and two of us on the right hand side of the back, but we're just slightly in front of it. The only time that you would have maybe people on the sides of your vehicle is if, uh, like half and half, is if we're doing a patrol down the road and we have a foot patrol at the same time. Which we have done before. Yes. Cool. And full dismount, Charlie. <laughs> yeah, uh, baby woke up, so I had to go and sort that. Alright, sorry about it. You took the baby bounding yet, Niles? <laughs> I went to the baby what? The baby's up. You see the baby? The baby's down. And Charlie, let's move behind the vehicle. No, that's my three-year-old. I'm teaching that. Just <laughs> 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 <They'll> remount. <laughs> hey, who got in my seat? Fucking scroll wheel made out of fucking leather. Did it? People keep getting in my blue seat. We're good. Very nice. Hello. AD strike. <laughs> With each day, God, we fuck it. With each day, we throw further from God. Mate, to be honest, if right, the Delta, community... full dismount, right, go. <laughs> Move you fat fox. <laughs> Nails to fuck. Okay, okay, that's okay. Oh, sorry. Someone took my gun. <laughs> right, Delta, bring it back in, full moon. Fucking crater. Fucking got out right and then ran into a different section. You said right, and spacing requires to go the far side of the vehicle. Why did you get out left then? Because I haven't got my gloves on today. <laughs> Delta, soft, dismount, rear. So nine times out of ten during a dismount drill, you'll have you guys getting into position like we told you, and then Ryan and I nonsing around doing stuff. But Ryan didn't do the soft. So, c commander, commander of the vehicle has discretion whether he gets out or not. 
Yeah. On a soft and a hard disk, man. Commander can stay in. So, for example, if we don't have access to backpack radios and we need to use our long range, the commander might stay in the vehicle during a soft or hard disk, man. So he has access to that radio. Have we lost someone? Oh. Not sure. There's a blue guy in this one, right? Who is it? Cole Niles. Coleman is the seed. Okay. He must have crashed. Right, Delta, full dismount and stand easy. Charlie, remount up. Yeah. Can you it Cole, while driving? Mm. Oh, get out then. We know what the draws are for driving. We stop the vehicle and then do dismount, so I think I'm pretty happy with that. Mate, I'm not gonna lie, fucking Tinder content is weak as shit tonight. What is? There's a distinct class of pretty, pretty girls on Tinder. So uh, I'm not impressed. Uh, I'm married, dude. Don't know what that is. I was gonna say, that's it, Niles. No, you're, you're not one to relate to that particular problem because you found yourself a nice lady. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> right or front? Right. But for a wee young buck like myself, who is in his prime and pose session, right. and we're all here. It's a DC. Yeah, but what's Coleman in DC? Right, chaps, I think we've got this pretty spot on. If you'd like to run it another couple of times, you're more than welcome to. I think we've got the gist of this, haven't we? I think I'll probably kill myself if we do it again. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> uh, falling around, uh, <laughs> right, falling around one of the old skill circle. We're deflating. Uh... I was drinking and then you made me laugh, like so that. I had to laugh. Just sending a message one moment. Because you said, front this mount, this mount, this mount. Like, and multiple this mounts, which is just... Just like people standing still on the field. Yeah. Like him. Just staring at a fox out. What one? Hello? You're right, you stop standing still. Grazing. I'm sending quite an important message. Yeah, I gave you 30 like... seconds. <laughs> Give me a second. <laughs> did. He did say it. it really did he did out. say it. <laughs> Alright, cool. We'll uh, crack Do on Do not then. fucking push me so, tonight, I swear to god. That was your on this man drills. Uh, you can always continue to practice it and rack. apply it with your section training. Um, next, and this is going to be a very short one, is the uh, casualty treatment and the kind of the chain um, for casualty flow. Um, basically, the moment you get hit, remember in your basic training, you have 8 AEET, alert, eliminate, evacuate, treat. That's the first thing that applies. Um, alert, you need to call out, man down, man down. Remember, everyone is the link man. Make sure everyone is echoing it. Everyone in the section needs to know you have a casualty. Then you need to deal with a threat, so eliminate the threat. Evacuate the wounded and then start treating them. That's the first step um, of how our casualty chain is gonna gonna work out. You have a CTM, a team medic in your section. He's uh, a little bit more trained uh, than the average Joe on providing first aid. Basically, a casualty needs to be stabilized within five minutes uh, if this casualty is a tier one and at risk uh, of while well, passing away. Five minutes, uh, and that's even stretching it. So we need to be on top of it pretty quick or he's gonna be gone. Um, but we ne also need to be having him at the uh, medical facility to fully patch him up within about 15 minutes. In real life, it's the golden hour. Here, it's about a golden 15 minutes. Well, 15 Doesn't sound minutes to get the medic on site, sorry. Okay. Oh, that's a, that's a way easier. <laughs> All right, so to get the medic on site, because uh, he's able to, well, perform more advanced uh, techniques to uh, really stabilize the casualty. So 15 minutes from the moment someone gets hit. Um, five minutes is for a section. So it's, he's gotten hit, CTM attends him. You can imagine 
uh, will be pretty close by. Uh, we being HQ, there's usually someone from 3 Met attached to us, especially in conventional theater, um, setting up what we call the RAP, uh, where you can bring your casualties to. Um, if that's not possible, then I'll be coming up with the medic to you, which is a bit more risky, but like I said, if you're not able to move, then we'll come to you. Um, the medic will stabilize. Uh, we'll have to arrange a uh, MERT, medical emergency rescue team, uh, to come in, collect the casualty, and bring him back to a medical facility where they can be fully patched up and stay, uh, yeah, recovered. Happens really quick here uh, for the sake of, well, the fun bit uh, of playing a game um, so we can get people reinserted nice and quick. Does that make sense to you all? You guys have any questions about a casualty chain? Is it still blue paint? Uh, marked or as in where you go? Blue paint marked? What are you on about? Yeah, just that the last one we was in. Was marked marked CCP. Out. I think it's talking about CCP. Yeah. With blue, blue paint. paint. I don't... Yeah, CCP marked with blue um, spray paint. I don't know if they actually still do that, uh, but we'll definitely have it marked on map uh, with positions. Uh, I've got one. So yeah. if the firefight lasts more than uh, five minutes, is that uh, that individual just being fucked? Yeah, it's bad luck. Yeah. Cool. Right, so you see yeah. that five minute window? That five minute window is if, if he's got an obstruction or occlusion, whatever the medics call it, in his airways. If he can't breathe, then he's got you've got five minutes to clear that airway. CTMs, you'll know more about this than I do, because I did my fucking CTM course a long ago. Um, you have to either, I think it's turn the head, someone correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, to check the airways, turn or extend, extend. yep, yeah, there you go, Booth. Um, to make sure that his airways are clear, then you're buying yourself a little bit of time. If he's no breathing with cat, he's just going to die within the five minutes. Um, to give you an example of that casualty management chain, uh, let's say Link gets shot right now, he goes T1. Man down. Man down. Right, that's, your, down. First, that's your first step. Man down. They, we're going into conventional. You need to be aware that he is down. You're, you need to get that information to your IC, to your two IC straight away. Dale has then just come into contact. He's going to send me a contact report. So, Dale, you're going to send me a contact report. Hello, 1-1. One, one. This is 1-1 one with Charlie. Contact, wait, 8. So, I'm waiting for that. If he knew that he'd already taken a T1, then he'd send me a different type of contact report. Or he'd say, hello, 1-1. One, one. This is 1-1 one, one Charlie. Contact, type, shooting, grid, 117-128, one, 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 one times T1. Wait, out. Then I'd know immediately that it was T1, Walito would know immediately. The medic would be stood next to Walito. He would also know because he's listening in on 4 1. At that point, we're going to start moving. We might move another section in to support you as, and uh, actually relieve some of the firefight from you so we can get to that T1. So we tend to drop everything for a T1 depending on the type of mission you're in. So that's very fucking fast what happened there. Sometimes that can take two or three minutes. By the time we're there, it's probably going to be around the 10 minute mark. So you need to be very quick with your man downs and getting that information up to your IC, especially the fucking tier of him. If someone gets shot in the leg, fucking fine, he'll manage through the firefight. If someone gets shot in the arm, the T3, T2, we're not that bothered. We will get to them within that time frame, but if the T1, you need to be super fucking quick. Uh, especially with conventional, because you're not going to be fighting Taliban that are just popping at you. Um, this type of terrain as well, What type? what's different about your kits if you've done jungle campaigns before? Scary, um, yeah. No, yeah. No, no helmet. Light order. No helmet. No, no helmet. What does light order mean? Of Fucking exactly. So, if they're using 762, if they're in Russian weapon based, or if, even if they're using 556, if they've been supplied by the Americans or the West, um, it's still not going to do the fucking nicest things to you. So, you need to be very fast about this. As I said, 15 minutes before they die. Even if you're clearing their airways, if you don't get a medic to them so they can put their little fucking goodle tube in and all of that shit, chest seals, whatnot. Um, and then within that 15 minutes, we need to get them back to medivac within an hour, but we try and keep it down to 30 minutes so that we can get them packed and sorted. So at the same time as Wally, it was organizing for you to get the medics out. I'm speaking to my signaller, or in this case, I'm not speaking to my signaller because he's fucking fried his PC uh, <laughs> to tell me to get a bird <laughs> into a location. Uh, for number four, one times T1. 
because that's what I know about. If you have multiple T1s, this is why you need to be very fucking aware of what's happening around here. Uh, I will be calling in birds for multiple T1s because they need to know how many casualties there are to pull out, how many casualties to expect because there are medics on board the bird as well. Any questions about that? I got a comment. Got a comment. Has anyone got any questions? No, Mackie, what's your comment? Uh, on the, m the medical thing with the choking while you're T1. I believe it's even less than five minutes. It's between two and three minutes. Cool. Oh, I just want to know. Okay. Any other questions? No? That's cool. Right. Cool. Alright. Oh. On onwards. Like I said, it's going to be nice and brief on that one. Uh, next, we're going into some fire maneuver stuff. Um, we're going to be splitting up into two groups. Uh, Vils UK will be taking the privates first. Yep. Cool. So Vils is going to take all of you, bar the ICs, two ICs. Uh, the ICs, two ICs, you're going to stay with me. Got a quick question. Would you not? Would you mind if we went through a couple of rounds of the medical evacuation stuff with our guys, or? You can do that if you like. Walking through um, like triage bits and pieces as well. I don't mind. Watch. How do you want to do it? Do you want to split off in each section, or do you guys want to observe a section through it with all of the actual aspects to it? Let's observe one section. Right. Who's oh, going to be? Seconds going to be bollocks. I don't mind doing it if no one else is volunteering. Damn you, Walker. Well, I need to let you and I need to let you do it because I'm <sighs> really against doing it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who's your um, CTM? Clams? That was a normal, wasn't it? Yeah, Clams is a CTM. Uh, Alright. I'm not going to go through the specific contact reaction because What's that's part on? of your RTR yeah, goals in going through your battle, your battle goals. But what I will do is I'll work with Clams to deal with our casualty, who today is going to be Till. Go on, show. Till's our casualty because he chinned <laughs> off the last exercise and went AFK for 20 minutes. Try that one again. Till's going to be our casualty because he went AFK in the last exercise for 20 minutes and didn't say a word. So, bang bang. Dead. <laughs> oh, you're not dead. You're, you're terribly injured. AFK four minutes. So in. first thing, get on the show. Whoever just did that. Man down. Man down. Man down. So you've identified the, the casualty down. So first off, you're under effective enemy fire. Through the magic of uh, movie magic, we've gotten through that. <laughs> if you've got access to the casualty, so let's say you've been stood behind a wall, he's been hit and he's dropped next to the corner. If you can access the casualty, as we were talking about earlier, self or body turn in case you can to stop the limb bleeding. Or if he's face down and conscious, you don't know what's happened. Roll his face one way to maintain airway and drainage. At that point, blitz the enemy, suppress the enemy, get through and, and, and kill them off, or, or have them withdraw. And at that point, you've won the firefight. You then go into what's called act. So either assess, communicate, triage. Now, at this point, you've called man down. If you switched on, you've told me that he's tier one. He went, Till's tier one, he's down. I can see him, he's not moving. I can then communicate that to those in my contact report. But if not, I still need to know. So, first thing you do is you assess. So, safety of the situation, how safe are you where you are, how safe is the casualty where he is. We've engaged the enemy and stopped them, but do you know if there's any further uh, weapons in play? Is there a, a machine gun watch on that sector? Is there a case of it's a beaten zone, he's down, flat out, he needs some help? That's what you'll find out. You'll also then assess how many casualties you've taken in that contact. So, you've seen Till go down, watching you haven't caught um, the fact that the link's also been clipped, because you're looking at him thinking, oh my god, what's happened? At that point, you get on the horn. Tell me what's going on, and I pass that one up. That kicks off the casualty treatment situation, but we still need to evacuate him. We still need to deal with him as he is here. So you then go into triage. You look at the guy. Now, you've already done this by calling him tier one. Everyone does it unconsciously. If he's walking, he's flying his tier three. He's not too bad. If he's not, you then check if he's breathing. So the first thing you do is you check him out. Clams moves on in, and you're going to walk us through what you would do for a casualty. Let's say he's unconscious. What's the first drill that you go through, Clams, and do it on your big boy voice? <laughs> Alright then. No, um, first of all, checking uh, how bad he is bleeding. If he's bleeding not too badly, I'll not prioritize that. Just, you know, put a couple of tourniquets on his arms and legs. Then check out his breathing. That's priority. If he's not breathing, I am royally fucked and go in sweaty mode. So, hyperextend his head most likely, um, depending if he's actually clogged up or not. So, hyperextend first. Turn in the head, if that does not work, I'm focusing on Google tube and I go straight for bleeding and fixing those up. Yeah.
When I'm done with that, I go back to the breathing and try it again until Freemat arrives. If I succeed with the breathing, he normally should wake up unless the bleeding is heavy. If that isn't the case, just keep trying um, so to clog up whatever thing. has to be clogged up, patch up, and then just go straight to uh, CTR. This is basic life support. This is the point where you have identified that you've got a casualty, you're not under effective fire, he isn't breathing which isn't great, and he's not responded to your turn in his head, so that's when you go into your basic life support. You've got your five minutes. You escalate that to me, if I can, and sometimes this isn't the case, he's still in contact, and he bumped another unit that's moved in. I'll pass that up to, to, to three med, and we'll start trying to get him evacuated. The key here is making sure that you've got security around you while you're doing this, and you, you're winning that firefight, because you can be recontacted in this period here. If his airways have opened, grand, he's tier one, we get him evacuated. If not, we work on him and we try and get people up to him. If we he's can't, we evacuate him. He's in but keep in mind, obviously, he's not got a lot of time. As you said, catastrophic limb bleeding, we can turn a KM. If not, we can then try and put uh, bandages into him if it's a case of he's taken a, a torso wound and try and stem that from there. Outside of that, it's about getting him back to the casualties and making sure that he's okay. So it's about identifying one that he's gone down, passing that up, that. making sure that it's clear to the. Uh, to the, to the platoon commander, the, well, the platoon sergeant, who's the responsibility of the casualty chain, and making sure that we have a plan to get him out. Because at that point, if feasible in the mission, we can with, with extract him. If not, the platoon sergeant will take over, extract the bearers, and move up and take him out, take him back, if he can. But uh, it's about making sure that that casualty chain is there and that you're speaking about what's going on. And also, you've got a CTM switch done enough to make sure that he's not forgotten to turn him over. And he's choking to death on his own fluid. So when did you see get freaking Kiwis? The totally drills. Uh, yep. Said no, no questions. Oh, okay. In terms of the drills, they're super easy. Um, the army has them in the little flick books, so you go through your single drills. So you go drill one, if not this, this, and go to drill five, if not this, drill seven. And it's supposed to be a clear way of moving forward. You do your BLS as quickly as you can. You make sure you get that casualty back. So I've got common, it. common on top of that. Yep, go for it. Uh, didn't fill it in, but if he's kind of swapped with three. Um, Catastroph uh, catastrophically bleeding. I can't speak English for fucking life of me. Uh, if that's the case, it wouldn't hurt to get another guy in here, but just make sure the security's still up. You know, yeah, get so one. Make sure get supporting the CTM as well in the action, because obviously exactly. they'll need as many hands as they can if he's being hit quite hard. Like, if this is like, you know, a uh, bar, for example. Well, no, it's not British. If he's fucked up, just get another guy in here, get one guy to focus on the tourniquets and bandages, the other one for breathing. Probably CTM for breathing, if that's the case. You'd listen to either 3 med or the CTM if it's only the CTM there, in this case, so fortune tasks for you to complete. Getting in, just putting bandages where bandages don't need to be, um, not ideal. But the man can uh, tell you what he needs you to do and get you clearing, clearing him up and getting him out as fast as you can um, by listening to him. That's the main key here, is communication and talking. And that's all for me. Yeah, I'm done as well. Right, fantastic. Do you want to run through it? Do you guys want to see it run through as if a section came under contact with all the radio calls so you can see the entire chain? Uh, or do you just want to go away and practice this on your own? Is it time to speak now? You know, I got you guys covered. You want to do that? Anyone else? Cool. Practice on that. Sections, practice that on your own. Um, go through your casualty drills, IC, send up your messages. Contact calls and so on and so forth. Hey, you're on Whisper Walker. <laughs> uh, we don't need to spread out everybody in on me. We can just go through the motions speaking. I'm going to put my backpack radio on uh, speaker. So we come under contact, first bang, bang, thing bang. I do... So that's the first thing I do. At this point, Ryan steps in, as to I see, while I'm on the radio to Bills, and he's calling out fire control orders, getting you guys in position. 
and we go through the, the, the motions of a firefight. So Charlie, you've divided up. Uh, Delta, you've divided suppression. We've eliminated that enemy. Okay? There you go. There's Dale uh, with his as well. So, we've won the firefight. Have we? <laughs> We're not going to go through the drills of a firefight. You guys know your RTR, you know your fire control orders, you know how to the bad guy. anything. I'd like to thank. So, um, you can hear Vils there over the uh, over in the distance there. He's relaying orders to 4 0 um, to so Koi and medics know about it. Hello, 1 1 Alpha, 1 1 India, full contact for over. Uh, one one India took contact and grid one one eight one two seven two times uh, enemy shooters. Uh, they have been eliminated. We've secured the area. Uh, we are held up in. Oh, Angus! <laughs> Damn, Angus! He's eager. Just see Walker taking off BFA loading. <laughs> one more Bravo, one more India, continuing on. Uh, we are held up in tree line in red one one eight one two seven. Require urgent three med assistance uh, as two one casualty has not been stabilised. Over. I <laughs> know <laughs> that CPM <laughs> is uh, applying um, medical skills. Uh, need further assistance. Create lie down. You're my medic. Over. Lie down. You're my patient. Guinea pig. Okay, so guys, you all heard We've that. We've got a man down. We've got a man down. We've done. Man down, man <laughs> down. <laughs> man down. God, thank God. <laughs> so, guys, in this scenario, you're all. Uh, we've done our fight through. We'll reorg. We, Niles is on the casualty. You're all guys all on an ARB protecting him while he's treating. I'm on the radio. Ryan's going through your uh, lace drills to make sure everybody's got the right amount of ammo, the right amount of equipment in case you come under contact again. In one day, I'll be. Four is all black. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Walker, this is Nas. We have one T, one casualty creator. Uh, applied tourniquets, and he has instruction of airways. I need free metal me in five minutes. Uh, roger that. You extend his neck. Yes. Yeah, so <laughs> no, 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 first. <laughs> No, for, first you check his airways, then you turn his head, then you. I first send his head. Oh, someone Oh, man, man, man down, man down. <laughs> yeah, is it a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's. that's so, a weird way of <laughs> so basically, uh, so basically, this is what I got from uh, FreeMed. Okay, so you check the airway, you turn the head, you then reach out the airway. Go Ready coming through. Right, Niles, give your um, misstep. Roger that. Uh, per per misstep. Yeah. Okay, misstep is follows. Mechanism injury one times. Gunshot wound to torso. Okay, uh, treatment given so far. One times bandage applied. He is his airway is clear. He's lost a lot of blood. <laughs> Stop it, Crater. You put me off. Right. Uh, yep. Yeah. Uh, no drugs have been given like, at this time. We're, like, look forward and then tilt your chin backwards. That's hyperextending your neck. Thank you. Uh, yeah, so uh, time of injury was approximately two minutes ago. I'll give you an injury if you're not careful. So Niles has run through to the medic. Call. Mason, in here, start paying attention. Uh, do you need me to uh, do anything, Proven? Uh, not at current time. Remember, Niles might be the one that's hit, and you might uh, need to the administer aid to him, so paying attention is very fucking useful. Rich. So, um, Niles has ran through with the Airways medic. are clear. Uh, exactly what the injuries are. So the medic is up to date with what treatment's been applied. Airways is now blocked. To head turning. Painkillers, if he has in, uh, administered drugs, all that kind of stuff. Because um, Bromley's checking airways. Also. Airways still obstructed. Hyper extending head. Stabilizing with yep. Niles while we're all providing security. Once he's stabilized, Bromley and more lethal will then go back airways to the is still blocked. I'm tubing him. Yes. Okay. Okay. Airways is clear. He's yeah, tubed. Person. Yes. Wait two seconds. <laughs> um. 
unconscious so, vomiting intensifies. Interesting fact, if Niles gets shot, then you can actually use his medical supplies to patch him up. I believe as default, Check and pulse. uses the supplies on the individual first. Uh, uh, there should be a pulse oximeter on it, you should be able to see. Yeah, roger. I've got it. Hooray 79, CO2 is 100. Check and blood pressure. Even if we're not. Yeah, blood pressure 125 over 83. Yes. Oh, I've never used that. That's fine. That's why we've got Miles. Uh, we've got at least what. another two or three medic. I know we and Ryan are both medical trained, um, advanced med trained. I currently have an issue where I can't see any damage on him. But, so uh, yeah. There should be enough medic. Yeah, roger that. Uh, so patient will be yours at this point. CTM or yep. CTM. Roger. Patient's been handed three med. So is there, is there any options in there that we shouldn't use? What? Or? The like only things are, we're are not allowed they, to do is a. Uh, uh, Roger, uh, say again first be. three digits of the uh, killers. I've given you another one. Oh, airway, last airway, one management, so far. Um, airway management, there's nothing you can do wrong. Okay. Roger, uh, well, if you get my right here, one right casualty to the ambulance uh, on the road. It's like checking pulse, it doesn't do anything. You're just checking the pulse, exactly. Airway management, if you can't figure out what to do, roll your face over the keyboard and it eventually will. If, sort of if you guys really want to, I'll link you guys. Pat, patch up the, the wounds first. Yeah, if, if it's you... really bad and Nars is down, let me take care so of him. No, that, and if I'm down, we're fucked. No, one. So you apply the tourniquets uh, and then airway two, management should priority, one, two, not the bandaging up of a person. Killed, they have one times two a person will take. Yeah. It takes longer for them to bleed out to than it takes them to jump to death. Even that way. Yeah. Airways, go on, Walker. Hyperextend the head and then rotate the head. Uh, uh, no, no, you uh, head turn it, then you hyperextend it. Sorry, you head turn, then hyperextend it. I'm going to clear this. I'm going to clear this. No, this is the only two options. Just to the southeast of your uh, of the ambulance turn and it says turn correctly and then hyperextend and then it says block. You do check airways and it will say airways equipment. Uh, needs su medical suction. It says needs medical suction. There's nothing you can do. It has to be passed off to a medic. Mm -hmm. but I think uh, yeah, yeah. Blackburn needs to do the CTM course. I think so. It's easier to, for them to do it um, than me. But if it says airways included, uh, all you need to do is turn the head, uh, hyperextend the head, and uh, okay. check the airway back again. The same way that with you do CPR yeah. check, pulse, CPR uh, check. Yeah, pulse. Yeah, just for your Still bro. Hello, Johnny. Question. Who is talking to me? Is capside. Have you been yeah. Uh, okay. Bleeding yeah. First, then um, so yeah. what I've done so far is yes. I've attacked the pulse oximeter, yeah. so we can check the heart rate and the uh, okay. so like, blood uh, pressure. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yes. I've given him some pain, pain yeah. and yeah. just kept monitoring. Uh, yeah, there's one coming. Yeah. Sorry about that. Yeah. Cool. Okay. So. Um, well, the head, the right? they just make it right. So, um, what I'm so, thinking is okay. we should uh, try and move him well, to, the, uh, wounds to the head or torso, which will bleed uh, out. To the ambulance in. now? Yeah. So, um, is the hyperextending the head? Can you, can you the move head, or do you think it's a yeah. yeah. one, one shot thing or can you do it multiple times? You can do it multiple work? times, it's like CPR. Um, so, it might so yeah, let's first try and see if we can move him. It doesn't hurt him. Okay. Keep going on until he breaks his neck. Yeah, it's, it's yeah, pull, pull, pull his fucking head off. You're conscious, aren't you? <laughs> he's gonna wake yeah, up he's with actually a, down, so we need, a one we meter long neck. Up here. Yeah, the um, it, don't worry about... Well, if you want to extract... <laughs> Hyper extended giraffe. Yeah. I want my shell So what actually happened uh, to yourself? Uh, the giraffe's here when he's like fucking included. I was in the CTM course at the beginning of the year and I just posted what I was taught uh, about airways in the Discord chat. Is it? Is it the so seventh step? It, it is the seventh step, yes, not. Yeah, it's the one I have already up, uh, already on my second screen. Dude, I have a, um, I have a misstep card on me. <laughs> uh, Roger, out to you. Yeah, I think uh, Boom has, one has all the cards. Yeah, uh, we, we can't move him Yeah, I got quite a few of them. Roger, out to you. One one India, one one yeah. Alpha, secure west of so at this point, I've handed the patient off to Freeman. 
Actually. Right, chaps, we're on the move. Yeah. We need to uh, scoot west of HLS Mount. That's on me. Alpha, that door, <laughs> Look, mate, I'm not sure you run. Whatever you want to do, mate. Oh, there we go! <laughs> oh, fuck off, it would be Crater. I Charlie Charlie won't want to I'm sure all casualties are near the Fox Hall uh, on the west side of it. Right, guys, spread yourself out along this wall. Delta, start pushing out southeast towards that tree. Uh, oh, fucking towards the tree, what fucking directions are those? Uh, southeast along the wall and get set up over there on the crossroads. And Charlie, secure this wall. Wall is secured. Who's alright, mate? Dale. Permission to shoot Carl. Fuck off. Uh, stop. Fucking shoot my guy, I'll fucking smush you. Cunt. Whoa! No, be, no be your last man. Baseline. The lads in the baseline, Charlie. Sorry, you fucking miss that. Walker, if you've got one more Charlie anywhere, anywhere near you, you might let them. One of them know that uh, Till's here. <laughs> Uh, Del, I've changed my mind. Can you peel onto the right side of Charlie? They can, and they will. Yes, I'm waiting for call. <laughs> Blackburn is AFK in two seconds. Peeling. Rog. I mean, Charlie should be staying put. It's just Del has moved. Joe Bakes, your last man. Seven set. I've won one times man truck. Uh, I was on, on one times town, southwest. Oh, yeah, town, yeah, yeah. I'm, uh, put, I'm putting my mag in, I'm putting, taking my BFA off. Trees. Some trees. <laughs> I'm not getting caught again. <laughs> Fred never complains. This shit. Fred's a real man. Fred never complains. Fred never people passed. <laughs> <laughs> So you need to be covering direct west up to the top of that ridge line. Yeah. Yeah, uh, crater's injured. You remember? So he's oh, yeah. Yeah. And um, Niles, you back with us? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm back watching west. 
what you say. How long for a muddy bit? Uh, JHC. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> well, it's fine, I'll be here by now. <laughs> Remember, now you can use the GPMG up in that vehicle. Yeah, right. right. Uh, where the hell is JHC flying from? <laughs> Uganda. Jesus Christ, well, it's fine, I'll be here by now. <sighs> Can we get a uh, petition to be to let uh, Mick be the official one platoon <laughs> motivational speaker? To make who? What the fuck sentence was that? What? To make be. To make to let be, be, to be man. What? Yeah, sorry. Sh I'll shut up. Fucking Dane. One times friendly Chinook coming in northeast. Uh, northwest, northwest. Marabord incoming. Before it crashes. Just in case I actually pull trigger, they don't want to do that. Uh, uh JC left someone behind. A one of their own crew.
don't want to be a pro anymore. Right, everybody in, Platoon HQ. Bye, Ryan. <laughs> Let's go, Jervix. <laughs> What, what, what are we doing? Are we good? Staying good? <laughs> I mean, there will be a fire here, here for the BFA coming up and we've got some ready for it. Make sure it's taken off the BFA then. I did, sir. I'll take the BFA off. Oh, what happened? Let's go circle around the platoon, son. Where did you go? Why is there like a big hole here? <laughs> Muscat's girlfriend. Was I the only one who got the weed thing? Snapchatting. <laughs> <laughs> Probably that's yeah. everyone was. Cool. Oh, Alright, give me a sec. You mean Moscow? Alright, right. okay. Power. How did everyone find yeah. that? Easy. Was it, was it camouflage? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Nice and easy. Right. Uh, total time that that took. Uh, we got the medics on site pretty fast. Uh, it would usually be a lot faster because we would have three med uh, with. Platoon HQ, they would be attached to us, we'd either have one at minimum, two at maximum, uh, and then there would be other yes. three, med three med assets, uh, or Grab one or six is their call uh, sign if you're ever unfortunate enough that you have to get in yeah. touch with them, um, attached to support assets, such as 5-1 who are FSG, or attached to JHC, uh, which their command element is 1-5 if you ever need to know that as well. Um, so there, Walker made it a little bit spicy, so we had four times T1s, the medics attended on scene, they dealt with the T1s, turned them into T2s, fantastic, uh, and then we murdered them out. Did the guys actually get on the bird? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah, <laughs> goodbye. Um, <laughs> so, so they've gone to an unknown position, who fucking knows? Oh, what do you uh, like? 40 minutes away. Cool. <laughs> uh, could you, someone ping Elkin and say that yes, we are indexing. Actually, no, I'll do it, never mind. Uh, okay, so you can see how long it takes to get stuff. It'd usually be a little bit faster than that because we'd either have a Chinook already up in the air or spooled up on the ground um, on a lot faster notice to move. I actually just fucking ran over there and told them, would you do a Merc for us? Um, but it shows you how much communication and how much effort goes into one of those things. Uh, we have to move the entire platoon to secure a Merc. We have to move the platoon to secure our APs potentially continue engaging and fighting through. Uh, so this is why it's important for you guys to be as fast as possible when you notice a casualty, especially in conventional, when every man counts. Uh, probably a lot more than coin, because we need to get you back in the fight the FSG. Uh, a lot faster, um, especially when we're up against a conventional force. Any questions about any of that? No? Happy to have fucking Apaches and Chinooks and actual cast chains back. Who is the Apache back? Is it back back? Yeah, I believe it is back back. It's when back. full John work. <laughs> You're on whispering boss? Uh, the Chinook's coming back with reinserts apparently. Uh, which is the final <laughs> which is the final part of the the merch chain, uh, which we saw, but you guys don't really need to concern yourselves with that too much. Um We'll but drop them into an HLS and then we'll have them link up with you either we'll eat up between some we'll take them to you or you'll drop them halfway and you go and pick them up. Or if there's enough of them if you've had a wipe then he'll just send you back out. Rog. 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 Yeah. Cool. Rog. You guys are free. 
Perfect. To the rest of your evenings. Have a nice night. Oh, thank you. You too. We're not going to start you? bidding on the holding section, Which guys. Now, right? you what? Sorry. I thought we're going to start the bidding on the holding section, guys. Now, like taken, you know. Get on the boat with like the the mirrored screens and oh, start bidding. <laughs> Anybody go blue smoke? Uh, no, I don't. Uh, how do you change your grenades again? Nice, uh, you... don't worry. Oh. Oh, you like this one? <laughs> you love it, you boy. I want to change. <laughs> GSG, take me with you! Quick ship tries to stop the move. Right, what floor end there? Alright, guys, thank you very much for. Uh, Yes, thank you very much for uh, watching. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, and hit the like button, hit the follow button, and uh, I will see you guys on Saturday. So I'll see you on Saturday, guys. Have a good one. See you then. Bye.